this is Galik Gofarm and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. So how are you doing today? I hope you're feeling great because today of the quote is today the quote of the day is all about goal making. So the goal the quote goes like this. The more you get set in your own world, the smaller your world becomes by J.R. Rim. In order to live the life of your dreams, you have to make big plans for yourself. Thinking small will never make you happy. It will actually leave you miserable and lead you to slowly wither away. Staying in your comfort zone will not get you to where you want to be and deserve to be. It just belittles you. If you want to be happy, you have to make big goals for yourself that you can attain if you place focused effort for a number of years. And this is why I think that it is of major importance to have goals not only for the near future but also for the next 5, 10 and 15 years. You will never get more done than you plan to get done. So you might as well plan for big goals and aim to get to achieve them. I recommend writing down goals for the next 5, 10, and 15 years. Write down what you desire to accomplish in the important areas of your life. Most types of goals involve either increasing something, reducing something, saving something, or improving something, or making something. That's what most goals involve. So start in the work area of your life and ask yourself what you would like to accomplish in this area in the next 5, 10, and 15 years. What do you want to do for work? Where would you like to do it? How would you like to do it? And what is the level of income you desire to achieve? Next, write down your goals regarding your home. Where would you like to live? What standard of living is important for you? In what type of home would you like to live and what is important for you to have in your home and where would you like to go on vacations and with whom which leads us to writing about relationships how many children do you want to have and with whom and what is important for you in a partner and also write about your meetings with friends and the social groups you may want to join and what you would like to do for your community and uh, any worthwhile organizations what would you like to do how much of your time and money would you like to donate now write down about your health how would you like to look which dietary preferences are really aligned with your values what sports are you participating in how many hours are you sleeping daily when are you waking up when are you going to sleep and what are you doing to ensure that you are following this all areas of life are interconnected. You cannot really build the life of your dreams uh, if you look at each area separately. And therefore, you have to write down all of your goals for the five, uh, write down your goals for five, 10, and 15 years for all of these areas in your life. You also can't reach any goal if your goal is too vague. Therefore, it has to be precise. Therefore, there is a criteria. For making goals and this criteria is known as the SMART criteria, S-M-A-R-T, for achieving goals. The S stands for specific. Your goal must be precise. What exactly do you want to accomplish? Which actions will you need to take in order to achieve your goals? Make your goals specific so that you know where you are heading. The next letter is M which stands for measurable. A goal must be measurable so that you know you have reached it or how far you still have before you reach it. So write down how you will weigh, how much you will weigh, how many hours you will sleep, and from when until when. Write down how much exercise you will do and on which days. I suppose you will have the desire for only having one partner, <laughs> but this is up to you to decide. So think about your partner and... Um, also think about how many children you will want to have and how much you will earn and how much your house will cost and so on. You will want to be able to have uh, measurable goals so that you know when you have reached the goal. You, it must be really analytical. So the letter M is for analytical thinking. The next letter in the SMART is the letter A, which stands for achievable. You must be able to follow through with your goal. 
Think if you have the necessary skills and resources to achieve your goal. And if not, how can you achieve these skills and resources? You must believe that you can achieve your goals before you can even begin to achieve them. You must have the belief. The next letter is the letter R, which stands for relevant. This is very important because the goal that you are after has to be aligned with who you are. It also has to be aligned with your values and the bigger picture that you have set out for yourself. In order to accomplish a 5, 10, or 15-year goal, there will be many small goals to achieve on the way. So with these little goals on the way towards a big goal, you must think about whether these any small goal is really relevant to the big goal, to the bigger picture that you have set out for yourself. Think about why this result is important for you. I find that if a goal is not relevant, then there is less overall passion to accomplish it, and you will not be fully into it with all of your heart and soul, which is, uh, the, and the results will show it, usually. The last letter in the SMART criteria is the letter T, which stands for time bound. Uh, you have to have a time frame for reaching your goals and it must be pretty precise. Uh, not the exact time and hour, but overall in general, it should you should have a time frame. Because the goals are for a decade and a decade and a half, I usually have a time frame of a year in which I will accomplish a goal. For example, in 2020, I will release my new book titled footprints, <laughs> which I did release this year, and so on. For every goal in, a, in relationships, work, home, family, and health, you must have a time frame so that you will take the right actions that will lead you to its accomplishment. Now, I'm not saying that there won't be setbacks along the way, and perhaps you will not achieve your goals exactly at the right time that you specified. But you will be headed in the right direction, and you will be closer and closer to achieving your goals as time goes by. So to achieve your goals, all you really need is these four things. You need the desire to advance yourself, to believe in yourself, to ignore the naysayers, and to take action that is usually out of your comfort zone because it is something new. We often destroy our dreams by not believing in our abilities and not believing that we can do whatever it takes to achieve our goals. We may also be too scared to leave our comfort zone and to have a non-supportive environment around us full of people who are naysayers to us, who may be even parents, friends, uh, or even partners who do not push us forward and actually feel more like a weight on our shoulders. We must release ourselves from these shackles and increase our self-esteem, which you can check out in a different video that I prepared, and you move out of your comfort zone and take the actions. You see, it's really, really important to have goals for yourself because having a goal is actually very, very healthy. Uh, goals actually improve your health and give you the energy and increase the vitality in your body and your life. Goals may even save the lives of people when they have something to live for. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you can ask yourself and so that the answer will help you move your life in the direction that you desire it to move. So the question of the day is, what are my 5, 10, and 15 year goals? And what do I need to, to have to get or accomplish in order to achieve these goals? Now, I, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over it from time to time and see how you are moving forward in your life. So let's finish off with the affirmation of the day, which is I am successfully moving towards all of my goals in a consistent manner every single day. I am successfully moving towards all of my goals in a consistent manner every single day. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so because an affirmation has the power to totally transform your life and get you to your dreams. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel, which I upload these kinds of videos and health and wellness videos uh, almost every day. So um, also visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for anything to do with health and well-being. Thank you very much for joining.